What's up friends, John here with the Go Health Yourself channel. And that is my new Quickie Nitrum. It's a very nicely designed chair and I highly recommend the Quickie chairs. They make some nice chairs. They've got quite a few different models. So check them out if you, uh, you are in the market for a new manual chair or you're looking into getting in a manual chair or if you're just looking to switch a brand of manual chair. So I'm going to compare the two and show you some design flaws on the Nitrum and I'll show you some original stuff with my Q7 here and yeah we'll get right into it. So this is the Quickie Nitrum and it's a very nice design. Um, the original one that I have is the Q7 which they discontinued in 2020. Um, there, there's a few differences with this one uh, that I that I had changed in the frame. Now the front, front of the frame tapers inward which fits my body a lot better and the foot plate is actually a little bit more narrow so that that's nice it um, fits the body a lot better and uh, it looks the frame looks cleaner of course i got it in the matte black which i love um, it's funny i go from white to black but i love the matte black it looks it looks really nice and unfortunately there's a few design flaws with the nitrum now on my chair here, I have the armrest, which thankfully I'm not too, too reliant on anymore, but from the factory, the Nitrum comes with really high armrests, which makes no sense and you can't even adjust them. I mean, you don't want your armrest under your armpits. So I actually plan on calling the Quickie manufacturer and asking them why they did that because I know it's a design flaw. And also the angle that I keep the back at, I put this all the way back on the Nitrum and you can't even put the armrest in. The towel bar, what they call in the back, is actually stopping it. So I got different brakes. I've got the scissor brakes uh, instead of the normal brakes that I have on these where you just push them on and push them off. These are a lever design and these actually use a spring. So they're really easy to put on too. These are much easier than the lever design. So yeah, um, I did get a higher profile cushion because when I originally ordered the chair, I thought myself I had a high profile on this chair, but it turns out I think it's a mid profile. But the high profile seems pretty comfortable. I have gotten in the chair and there's just a few uh, adjustments that I have to do on this chair and, and it's ready to go. Um, I think everything is pretty much the same. It's got the quick release wheels. It's got the same uh, anti-tip bars and the back it's got the the push handles aren't the fold down ones which I'll see how these go I really like the full fold down ones on my original chair but we'll see how these work out and uh, I don't fold them down anyways so but yeah I'll be making a few adjustments soon here and uh, I'll be getting in this chair and making this my primary you know I do like the Q7 model better because of you know the uh, everything's designed very well but unfortunately like i said they discontinued it in 2020 so and that's when they started making the nitrum so besides that the design is very nice the the caster legs that come out are designed differently and they look real clean and sleek and uh the towel bar is a little bit thicker which is the bar on the back and it's not for a towel it's actually for when you fold the chair there's a handle in the back so you can pick it up there's actually one on the back and underneath, but it's a nice chair. And if you do get a manual wheelchair, I definitely highly recommend the Quickie. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you got some valuable information there. If you're looking to get a manual chair or switch to one or change the model. Yeah, I recommend them. They're awesome chairs and I've never had a problem with this Q7. And like I said, the uh, Nitrum has a few design flaws, but overall it's the same and they are awesome chairs. Thank you to all my subscribers. And if you're new, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're feeling generous, consider donating to the channel. I have a link in the description below where you can click on there and you can donate to PayPal. And it helps the channel and it helps me make better content and can you know help the channel get bigger and I can do more things and bring more exciting, interesting content to you guys. So thank you again for watching. Stay strong, stay active, stay creative, and go help yourself, friends, over and out.